Hi loves, Paris here and I'm coming to you guys today with a Dollar Tree haul. Yay! I personally love going to the Dollar Tree and I know that you guys love going because you can find everything from snacks to knickknacks to little things you can use to do DIYs in your house, books, cleaning supplies, beauty products, toiletries, you name it. You guys know how awesome the Dollar Tree can be. Um, but I wanted to come and show you guys some of the things that I found that I haven't seen there normally that I thought were really cool. I was also going to see if I can find something to do my DIY um, manual petties here at home um, so I'm excited to show you guys what I found there so I suppose I'll go ahead and start with some of the toiletry items that I found there um, I like to use uh, natural soaps because that just works best for my skin um, but I do like to splurge or I guess treat myself at the Dollar Tree by getting some of the soaps that they have there because they are only a dollar and I have actually found some really good gems there so um, I'm going to start with this Yardley London activated charcoal soap and I really love this one um, I'm really like a smelly person I love things that smell really good this one has a really good scent to it and it actually works very well. Um, I think it has glycerin in it, which is a plus for me because my skin just loves anything with glycerin in it. So I always pick these up because I love um, charcoal because it has the detoxifying factors in it and it works really well for me. So that's one of the things that I picked up. And then I had to pick up some of these Dove Beauty Bars. I got the regular white one and then I also got the one for sensitive skin. I've never used a sensitive skin one before, but it smelled so good. Oh, good so I had to try it and these Dove bars you guys know are like some of the best fragrance smelling soaps ever when I use these in my shower it just makes my whole shower smell so good even the bathroom as soon as I walk through the bathroom I smell the soap and that I love so I picked up two of those as well and you guys have to forgive me if I'm going really, really fast or if I run out of breath. I know that I don't have that much space left on my camera, so I'm going to try to make sure I get through it because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. And I also got two of these uh, vanilla raspberry soaps by Bolero. I usually really love their soaps. Um, because they have really good scents and I know that they're plant-based and anything that's plant-based that they don't use on animals is something that works very well on my skin and they're huge bars. I'll go ahead and open this one. I used one before and I'm going to be honest with you, this particular scent um, is not my favorite. Like it's so light of a scent that you don't really smell it when you're washing your body with it but because it is plant-based it lathers so well and it works well so I don't think I'll be getting this particular scent again but these um, brands of soaps and these huge bars last a really long time so I like to get those um, and then I found this these brush but if I can speak brush buddies herbal toothpaste and they're also charcoal toothpaste um, I got three of these the last time that I went and two weeks later I could not find them again so I think everybody caught on to how well these worked they really do whiten your teeth very well and I'm only down to one so if anybody can tell me where I can find some more of these I would just be so elated um yeah that works so good and so I actually got these brush buddies bamboo charcoal toothbrushes um they are are this and soft and there's one in each pack and they just look really cute on your counter in your bathroom or in your toothbrush holder um, with all your other little soaps and things up there and so I bought the four of those and so I'm down to three now and then I also got these um, beauty cleansing cloths or makeup remover cloths these are the ones that I picked up recently, like three days ago, but I was really looking for these. And I have to go ahead and tell you guys about these. These work so well. They're both charcoal facial wipes. These cleansing cloths are their normal white ones. They don't really have a scent at all, but these I love because they were in the black color. And that was a little bit different. I love removing my eye makeup and not seeing like a dirty little white washcloth um, when I'm taking off 
my makeup because obviously I use like makeup for deep skin and so it just they work so good like literally one swipe on the eyelid and it just takes away all of my makeup and all of my eye makeup it really does what it says it's going to do so I hope that when I go I can find some more of these but I did use these the other night and they work just as they work pretty good I just I'm just partial to these I really really like these so I highly recommend those um, and I think that's it oh no I have this as well and um, in terms of toiletries this is the body spray for her power stick I normally get the one for men because the men's scents just smell so good. It comes out kind of like a hairspray, but it doesn't have a hairspray smell at all. It smells really fresh, really refreshing, and I like to spray it on myself and on my clothes as soon as I get out of the shower. But it's also good as a nice little refresher as well. Okay guys, and I guess I'll go ahead and move on to a few accessories that I found. Um, I did get these barrettes, and I got two packs of them. Please excuse the packaging. I was trying to get this one off, and I completely just ripped it off there. Um, this is the second time I'm filming this video. I did film earlier, and the light was just the lighting was just way off, so I decided to go ahead and film again. But this is what it looks up close, and I love that it's just an easy clip right there. And you can just clip it on your hair, whichever direction, whichever way, and just do something really cute like that. Or, you know, a lot of different hairstyles that you can use. Or if you have little ones, they would just be adorable on them. And it's 3 $4, so you can't beat that. And then I did get two of these. They came individually, so these were $2 altogether. Um, but I hadn't seen like any really cute patterned um, hair scrunchies in a while. So I decided to pick up two of those in the leopard print. Okay, so moving right along, um, I did find a couple of really cool ideas or things that I wanted to try for makeup. Um, I have used these many, many times for crafting, but I had this really cool idea to use them as body glitters or glitters for my eye makeup. Um, and they actually work very well. And you get so many glitters in one pack. There's six of them here. And these are the gold and the bronze and brown colors. They look so good and they work very well for makeup. I will have to say, um, may, let me make this disclaimer. If you are really sensitive, you have sensitive skin, your eyes get really sensitive, don't use them. I've not had any issues with anything scratching my eyes, falling off of my eyes. The glitter is really fine, and so that's why I have the idea to use them. I also got the pinks and the purples, which are so pretty. And then I have the whites, the silvers, and the black. And there's this really beautiful color here. This black looks so great on top of um, black eyeshadow. So, yeah. And what I did, I know you guys have seen these little pill cases at the Dollar Tree. Um, what I did is I started to fill each color with a color of the glitter that I bought. Um, I haven't filled this top one, but I'll probably fill it with white. And then I haven't filled this one. It might just be gold or something because I don't have yellow. They also have a pack with green and blues in there so if you like those colors you can pick those up as well this is one of the blues and I just like having it right here I just put it right there on top of my um, vanity and I do my makeup and it just works so great so yeah it's very convenient and that was also a dollar but I didn't get it in this haul it's just one of the things that I bought like eons ago at the Dollar Tree but that's one of the really good things that I like to use uh, for that and then I also picked these up. I know that, oh, you guys, these are so pretty and they're so fun. And I have gotten the silver before, so I picked up two of the silver to use uh, for any occasion, really. But of course, if you're going to a party, if it's New Year's, if it's Christmas, if it's Halloween, you know, you have these on deck. And I just, I have the red one and then I got purple and I think they have green and blue and I already have those so I picked up more um, you can't beat it for a dollar I mean just just to try some things do something fun um, I also found these and I had never seen these before at the Dollar Tree but I thought they were so pretty and again I apologize they are out of the packaging because I did film this one time already but I have the gold 
And then there's the silver, so pretty. And then we have red, and I cannot wait to use these. And then this is also a teal color, and they are so pretty. But I will have to say I was kind of disappointed when I swatched them because they don't really show up that well. You really have to put it on to get it to show at all. But perhaps if you put, you know, the color of lipstick on and then put this on top, it'll give it something, you know. And you can, of course, put extra glitter on top to get it to work. I don't know if it's going to show. You can kind of see it there. There we go. So there's the teal and the red. So as cute as they look, they're not as pigmented as I, you know, would hope, but they're from the Dollar Tree, so, you know, there's so many things you can use them for. You can use them as a base for your regular eye glitter or something like that, or if you want to just do a little bit of body glitter, you can do that too. Um, and then I have one of the LA Colors Beauty Pots, and I have one of the other ones in more golden tones, but this one, oh, let me see if I can get it to show. I thought was so gorgeous and it's got copper tones it's got bronze and it's got the brown so I'll go ahead and swatch that for you guys and there they are let's see if I can get it to show I'm so sorry about my lighting you guys I'm definitely going to see if I can work that out for sure Okay, seriously. Okay, let me try to swatch them somewhere else <laughs> so you guys can see. Let's do the other hand. So that one is the bronze, and this is copper, and this is brown. Okay, a little bit better. But in person, you guys, in real life, these are so pretty. They're shimmery colors, and they work so well. So i um, definitely excited to add that one to my collection. And then the last thing that I got was this LA Colors Matte Liquid Foundation. Um, never have I tried this before, and I don't know why I picked this up. <laughs> I wasn't, you know, I don't really know why. Um, maybe I was thinking this was a concealer. Um, so I don't know how this is going to work. I don't typically use their foundations. Um, so let me guys, let me know in the comments, you guys, if you've ever used their foundations and how they work for you. Um, but this is, this is what this is looking like. And it's not that bad at all, but I can tell that it's really just sitting on top of my skin. So... Um, that's going to definitely take a lot of blending, you know, to get it to work. Um, but, you know, I can see what I can do with it, and I will come back and I will let you guys know. I'm back, and next I'm going to get started with the items that I actually went to go look for, which were things that I could find for my pedicures. Um, and I'm excited to show you the first thing that I found, which is one of the things I have seen, actually, um, many times um, but this was their little pedicure set and I got this I have this and I have this but I love these and if you guys um, wear acrylics or you wear nails or you get your toes done you know that sometimes you can get a little bit of grit or dirt under there and these are perfect for that um, so I like to keep these around and then these of course make it so much easier to do your pedicures so I got that pack and that was great because it was only a dollar and I got all of those things in there um, I found a cuticle trimmer. I don't think that I've seen this that many times, so I wanted to go ahead and pick this up in the hot pink color, so I thought that was really cute. And then I also got a hot pink cuticle remover and pusher. Love these. These always make your petties and your manis look so amazing. And then I also got two of these gel polish remover sets. Um, I don't just use these to remove gel polish, but I also use them to just push back my cuticles and just give my nail a nice clean surface. Um, so I picked up two of those because these actually work very well. They are amazing. They are absolutely essential if you're going to do your manicure or your pedicure at home. 
Um, and these were a first for me. You guys might have seen these and maybe I didn't notice them because I didn't actually, I don't normally go looking for things for a pedicure, but this was the first time that I found them. And these are um, soak off nail caps. And I usually use the method where I soak the cotton ball in acetone and then I put foil over my fingernails or over my toes and I just let that sit. If I'm putting them on my toes, I just put socks on and let them sit for like 15, 20 minutes and then the nail, um, the fake nail, the acrylic, whatever nail just comes, it slides right off and it gives me just a clean nail, a clean surface to start with. Um, but I saw these and I thought they were cute because I can actually look legit while I'm doing my toes and my nails. Um, I don't know how that's going to work on your toes because these are kind of big, but I think that they might do really well if you're going to use them for um, soaking your nails off of your nail or soaking your nail polish or taking your nails off of your fingernails. So I got two of those. And the next thing that I found was an electronic nail kit. Now this, you guys, I had never seen at my Dollar Tree before. And I was really excited because I was like, what? A dollar for an electronic nail kit? Like a drill? That's really awesome. And it says the four piece set includes electronic base holder, a shaping tool, cuticle pusher, and a buffing tool. And when you're doing your toes, it always helps to have a little extra power behind your buffing or whatever because it just makes them look so nice. And I don't think they're going to be obviously as powerful as like an e-file or anything like that, but it would definitely come into use and save you a little bit of arm work to pick up one of these. So yay, I was really excited for that. Okay, so the last two, um, so the last two nail tools that I found were these two items and I tried to get matching items. <laughs> um, like I tried to match the pink with the pink and then I tried to match these because I thought they'd be really cool um, when I put them all in my little kit. It would just look really nice and bright and fun. So I found this which is a, normally a makeup brush but I can use it to brush off the additional dust and everything that I use after I'm filing my nails. And then I got two nail clippers which came in this set. And they are zebra print as well. Okay, so the next few items, but I was looking for foot soap. Um, something that was, okay. So these next few items might be a hit or miss. I was looking for a foot soak for my feet. Um, I mean, I went to the Dollar Tree and I was like, I could have used Epsom salt and put some essential oils in there, but I wanted to try something different. So I actually found these two packs. Um, these are Village Natural Therapy and they're for aches and pains in your muscles, or this one is. Um, this is Muscle Relief and it's in the Spearmint um, scent and it's Epsom salts, but I thought that, you know, because of the different scents, this one's lavender, and because of the therapeutic properties, it would feel and smell really good when you're doing your pedicure, so I'll let you guys know how these work. And that's the first time I had seen these, so I was excited to go ahead and try those. I picked up this cucumber and aloe body oil for all skin types. And it says that it's for face, body, and hair. And so I was thinking that this could be an oil to seal in the moisture on my feet. And I bought this to actually add some moisture, which is the Facial Gel Hydrator and Cucumber and Aloe. And it looks really nice. And I like the, that the Bolero products are um, plant-based. It smells really good. It smells pretty good. It smells like it's going to make your feet um, smell nice and also feel really cool. Um, and they're also going to hydrate. So one of the things that I've heard um, from someone is that if you want really soft hands and feet, you, you should start using facial products, the things that you put on your face to make your face look nice, um, smooth and bright, to put them on your hands and feet and as well. So that's why I wanted to try these out. And if for nothing else, just for a little extra moisture and to make them smell good after I'm done soaking them. Um, and then I picked up this Dermacil Labs um, Eczema Relief Moisturizing Lotion. And I've tried Dermacil before. They normally have the bigger bottles for the body lotions. Um, this one is in with, uh, excuse me, I cannot talk today. This one is with chamomile, flower extract, and collodio oatmeal. 
Okay, I'm going to try that again. <laughs> so this one is with natural chamomile flower extract and collodial oatmeal. And um, I think that it, it smells really good. It smells really good. It smells really clean and it's got a really nice florally scent to it. But it's eczema relief. So I think that after the oil, I can seal it one more time with the moisturizer. That smells really good. Um, so all of these products that I got were primarily just for my pedicure. And I will let you guys know how it works out. I did pick up some press-on nails. I got two of these never saw the really cool glittery ones before in this almond shape I don't know if I'm gonna keep the almond shape when I put them on but I also pick these up for my minis if you guys have little ones who like to um, have their nails done like mommy or like you these are always a great ideal to pick up for them and these are in the ombre and they're both the exact same so I bought those and then I got two of these. I just thought I'd throw them in there because I did buy them from the Dollar Tree. But I get these there all the time. And I love to put these inside of my cabinets. I like to put them in my bathroom. Um, anywhere, everywhere. So that when I walk into the room, it smells really nice and fresh. So I keep those on hand. Okay, guys. So the last few items that I have are not quite as exciting beauty items. But they're items that I love to pick up on a regular basis and I think that they're a really good idea to pick them up whenever you see them. And the first would be the Sophie Sheer Pantyhose or Leggings. And they're really fun um, to wear with skirts if they're a little bit on the shorter side. I love to put these on and it looks really nice. So I'm always picking these up. And then I did find some of these knee-high socks um, a few weeks ago, and I actually gave some of them away, um, but they look so cute on. Um, this one is just in the striped pattern, and then this one is an argyle pattern. I had two of each, but I did give some away, like I mentioned. Um, I had two of these, but I know I just have one left, and this is in the black stripe pattern. Um, so under, or not under, but like over your leggings, or if you're wearing them just by themselves, or around the house, if you have on shorts, or anything like that, these actually look really nice. Um, then I got the gray color, because I thought the gray would look really great. Like if you have an oversized sweater, and you're really just lounging around, or even if you go out, especially like I said, if you're wearing a shorter skirt, um, putting these on look really cute. And so that's what I've been using them for. And these are the gray ones in the Argyle. And then they also have the gray in the stripe pattern. And then the last um, socks that I picked up were these. And these were so great. This was the first time I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. But um, yeah, let me know in the comment section what your favorite item was. Um, are there any items that you guys love to shop for at the Dollar Tree? How do you guys use them? I would love to know. Um, and I just think that it's just a really good idea right now. I personally like to keep myself on a budget. If you are a college student, if you are a single parent, um, if you're someone that's wanting to start a budget, um, this would be the perfect time, especially with the pandemic going on. You can't really... Um, predict you know what's going to happen in the future so go ahead and check out your dollar tree i promise you will not be disappointed you don't have to sacrifice the things that you like just because so thank you guys that's all that i have today um thank you guys again for watching and as always stay lovely bye <laughs>